How you doing folks? John here again. We're in my backyard and I want to talk to you today about suckering tomatoes. And that doesn't mean beating them up or anything like that. Uh, they grow these, these things out of the stem that uh, you want to cut off. So here's a what they call a Juliet tomato. And I want you to notice right here, this is the main stem and this is your leaf. This is the sucker. I'm going to cut it off right here. You see where I've cut that out? Now if we have a look at this sucker, that all takes energy away from the plant. It takes it away from the plant, takes it away from the flower, takes it away from the size of your tomatoes. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you cut these off. Now this one I let go for almost a week because I wanted to share this video with you. Typically you would cut them out when they're much smaller. And so what I do, I come out every two or three days and I'll sucker my tomatoes and then I'll retie them because they'll grow like seven, eight, ten inches every two or three days. So I'll come out and I'll sucker them. Here's another great big one that we're going to cut out. Here's another one. As you can see here at the top, it gets a little confusing. It, it wires out here, right? This is the leaf. This is the main stem, so this guy's got to go. And don't be afraid to cut them out because it's not going to hurt your tomato. It's actually going to help it. It's like getting a nice haircut. And so then I take, I take a tomato clip. I don't know where you can get these. They're probably available. I do believe we have some green ones at the glass house. I just clip them on there. And it keeps your tomato growing up. And it lets a lot more light in there. As you can see, we've opened it right up. It lets more light in for your tomatoes to ripen up. And it just, it's so much better for that plant to thrive and grow. So don't be afraid to get in there and cut out them suckers because they're not going to do you any good. So thanks for coming out and listening to me. See you again, folks.